Hey there you guys, this is Jaden here, and in this video I will be reviewing what is, I'm pretty sure, the first Naruto video game ever. Yeah, it's one for the Nintendo GameCube, and it's called Naruto Clash of Ninja. Yep, this was my first Naruto game ever. In fact, it was what got me into Naruto in the first place. This game was my introduction to Naruto, because I remember playing it as a really little kid, and I was, like, impressed. Like, oh my gosh, I was fascinated by the character designs, the attacks, the fighting style, all that stuff. I really liked the music in the game. And yeah, this game was a part of my childhood, and it was what got me into Naruto, and it, yeah, and I, yeah, and I had something to respect it for. Yeah, and I really enjoyed this game growing up, but do I still really like it now as a near adult? Well, here it is. Here's my review on Naruto Clash of Ninja 1. Okay, so the game starts off by a... So the game starts off with an opening that shows footage from the anime, from the Naruto anime. And you basically get to see uh, some flashback thing that has that, that show that shows that shows Kurama, Kurama, who is the nine-tailed fox that was sealed inside Naruto in the show. And you also get to see Naruto crying as a baby, and then it flashes back to Naruto as an older kid with the goggles he had on, which he quickly got rid, which he quickly got rid of in the show. And you have him looking, uh, you have him looking shocked, not like crazy shocked, I'd say, but he looks pretty shocked. And, then it, and it takes you to the title screen. And then you have some random character announcing the title of the game, Naruto Clash of Ninja. Yeah, and then you hit the start button, and then the music starts, and yeah. Okay, so, yeah, there really isn't, there really won't be too much to talk about with this game, looking at how short it is. Like, okay, so, like, first of all, let me start with the story mode. Okay, so the story mode is really short. Like, really short. You can beat it in under an hour, and... Yeah, well, you do. While the game does show, well, the, well, the game does show multiple characters in its story mode. The only character you can play as is Naruto, and to me, I think that's pretty stupid. Now, don't get me wrong; it's not that I hate Naruto. No, 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 no. Naruto is definitely among my favorite Naruto characters, and I get that he's the main character. And all after all, the show is called Naruto for a reason. The show's, I mean, come on, the show's named after him for a reason. But still, that doesn't. I don't think it gives him the excuse to have Naruto be the only character you play as throughout the whole story mode. Yeah, and like I said before about the story mode being short, yeah, it is a pretty short story mode. Like, it covers, like, from, it goes from, like, the start of Naruto to all the way to when uh, Team 7, the Team 7 trio, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura all meet, Lo all meet Rock Lee. And yeah, with you being, with Naruto being the only character you play as in the story mode, that leads to some story mode mess-ups, like such as the fight against Zabuza. Yeah, um, Kakashi was the one who fought against Zabuza. Naruto, yeah, the game has you play as Naruto against Zabuza, and that's a mess-up. Like, Naruto, and, like, because spoilers, Naruto in the show never fought Zabuza. Yeah, he fought Haku, yeah, but not Zabuza. Kakashi fought Zabuza. Yeah, so they should have had you play, yeah, of course Kakashi was a playable character in this game, so they should have had you play as Kakashi instead of Naruto. Like, yeah, Naruto teamed up with Sasuke against, yeah, Naruto teamed up with Sasuke against Haku, yeah. But he, he never, he never fought against Zabuza. So yeah, they should have had you play as Kakashi instead. Yeah, and another story mode messed up with the whole only play as Naruto thing is that at the final, in the final fight in the story mode, and by the way, this is the fight where you unlock the only unlockable character in the game, Rock Lee. So yeah, this fight, um, this fight, this is the fight that covers the part of the story, the part of the show, where Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura all meet Rock Lee, and this is the part where, uh, Sasuke fights Rock Lee and has a hard time with Rock Lee in that, and, yeah, so yeah, in that fight, you're supp you should be play while you're, while you should be playing as Sasuke against Rock Lee, you instead play as Naruto against Rock Lee. Oh, come on! I mean, yes, Naruto was there during that fight against Rock Lee, but so Sasuke was the one fighting Rock Lee, not Naruto. Not Naruto, so why can't you play as Sasuke? Yeah, yeah, and Sasuke is a playable game in the, a playable character in the game too, not to mention, so yeah. Why not have the player play as Sasuke instead of Naruto? I mean, yes, Naruto was there, but he was spectating the fight with Sakura. He wasn't actually fighting against Lee. So yeah, why can't you play as Sasuke instead of Naruto? It's stupid. But, yeah, despite those flaws, though, I still think the game does a good job with covering the story covers, even though it's a really short, it's a really short story. But if you guys want to know why this, but you guys have to understand, the reason why the story mode was short is because I'm pretty sure the game came out, like, at an early part of the original Naruto show. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure the, the I'm pretty sure the Naruto show wasn't that far into the tuning exams arc yet when this game was out. So, yeah, the, this game does have a good excuse for, like, you know, it's limited roster and, you know, um, 
this game does have a good excuse for its limited roster and small story and you know lack of game modes, especially compared to later Naruto games. But still, uh, yeah. But yeah, I still think the story mode's good. It does a good job with covering the stuff it covers. The cutscenes are nice and enjoyable to watch. And yeah, it's still overall a good story mode. It does mess some things up, but still, it's a good story mode. Now, moving on to the other modes of the game. Okay. Okay, so now that I got the story mode out of the way, what other content does this game have apart from story? Well, there's options, training, time attack, survival, single player, play against computer, to player battle and uh yeah that's about it that's <laughs> that's basically all there is to do in this game yeah how good are, uh, yeah now i want to go over the controls of this game now how how good are the controls well i would say the controls of this game are really good for are, are really good are, like i i'd say the controls of this game are really good they're easy to get used to they work like they should the controls are easy to understand. The controls are easy to understand. The Sims, the, Sims, the, the I was gonna say the Simpsons, but the system is easy to get used to. Yeah, and the controls work fine. It's easy to perform tasks and all that stuff. And yeah, the controls are good. Okay, so I've covered controls. The story mode lists out all the modes that are in the game. Now I want to be more specific with the uh, certain game modes of the game. Now, first of all, time attack. Well, pretty much works like it does in the other Naruto games I've reviewed. Time attack, you know, you fight like a series, you, you fight a series of like 10 opponents, you fight a series of 10 opponents, and you know, you're supposed to, it times you to see how long it takes you to defeat all the opponents, you know, it's a fun mode to do. And survival, you know, basically, obviously, in survival, you fight a bunch of enemies, and you know, you fight a bunch of enemies battle by battle, and you see how long, and you know, you go until you die, you go... You know, you go until you die. You see how long it will take you. You see how many th uh, opponents you can defeat before you die. A fun mode to do. If you want to play this game for a long time, yeah, I would highly recommend going in survival. Now, the training mode is, of course, a very good mode for beginners where you can practice your moves and all that stuff. Good mode for beginners and works just like it should. Moving on. Now, options is a mode where you, of course, can change how certain things work in the game. Like with fights, you can change the time. You, you can change, like... Or wait, can you actually change that kind of stuff in this type of Naruto game? Yeah, you know what? Forget, forget. Options is a last. It, options is options. It's self-explanatory. Moving on. Now, another thing I want to cover with this game is its graphics. How good are the graphics? Well, I don't think I would exactly call them great graphics, but I still think they're good graphics. So I still think the game looks fine enough. I'm sure, maybe not great, but good, tolerable-looking enough game to me. Okay, moving on. So the next thing I want to talk about with about this game is okay i want to go more in depth with the character roster okay about more about the character roster of the game yeah it's very small as i've stated earlier in this video it's a small roster it doesn't even have 10 characters it has eight it has eight and only one of them is un unlockable and like i said earlier that character is rock lee and yeah these are all the characters in the game haku iruka zabuza which by the way these three characters would make absences in later Naruto games, and yeah, apart from those three characters, there's also there's also Rock Lee, Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, and Kakashi. That's it. Those eight characters are the only playable characters in this game. Sure, not the only characters you'll see from this game. I mean, sure, you you of course see a uh, the nine toed fox Kurama, as I've stated earlier in this video, and and you know one of the big toads in Naruto, and you also. And there's also some background characters you get to see at the Hidden Leaf Village at Night Stage, which is by far, which is by the way my favorite, uh, my my favorite stage in the game. By the way, I really love that stage. <laughs> I do enjoy Night Stages, but yeah, that's about it. Like for, with just playable characters, these are with with just playable characters. These eight characters are really the only characters you have. And yeah, I know, yeah, I know this game has a really small roster. But again, you have to understand, like they had a good reason for the small roster and the short story mode in this game. It's because, you know, the series, like, they weren't really that far into the show when this game came out. So, yeah, it makes sense. And to be honest with you guys, even though this game has a small roster, I still think it's really good. I mean, sure, like, small rosters in video games aren't always fun. But I think this one, it's an exception for some reason. I still, like, really enjoy the gameplay of this game like I do with the Clash of Ninja Revolution games. And, yeah, and... And yeah, speaking of the Hidden Leaf Village at night stage, like in the womb of stages, it does have a good chunk of stages to pick from, you know, a good, a good chunk of places to fight from, and yeah, I think the gameplay works well, and it does capture that Naruto feel, so yeah, and 
yeah, I think the gameplay is fun. The controls are nice and easy to understand. And, yeah, I, I honestly... <clears throat> let me clear my throat there. Okay. Like, I honestly would consider it to be a great game. I know. Yeah, I know. I know. No, it's not just because of nostalgia, because like I said earlier in the, this video, this was my first Naruto game ever, and it was my introduction to Naruto. But still, I still think this is a really good game. Even as a near 18-year-old boy, I still think it's a really good game. Would I consider it worthy of buying? Nah, nah. Nah, I wouldn't say you have to buy it. I would, like, I would more prefer, like, you know, I'd, like, more prefer you buy, like, later Naruto games. Like, for example, the Clash of Ninja Revolution series and the Ultimate Ninja Storm series, but... But still, this is still a really good game, though. I think it's something nice for Naruto fans, and, you know, especially if it's, if it's like, you know, early part... If, especially for, like, early part one Naruto fans, because that is what the game covers. <laughs> and plus, despite its limited roster, it does have some pretty cool extras with the characters. Like, for example, there's a... You can, you can uh, start a fight while playing as a Nine-Tailed Fox Naruto, and, you know, in the Nine-Tailed Fox form that he was in during his fight with Haku. And you could also play as Kakashi with the Sharingan he had on during his fight with Zabuza, so that's cool. Those are cool extras for the game. But yeah, uh, but yeah, still the roster is really limited. And I guess if you want to count like Sharingan, Kakashi, and uh, Nine Tailed Fox Naruto as you know two different characters, and I guess technically the game has ten characters, but uh, nah, no, I'm not counting that. No, no, the game still has eight uh, playable. Only has only has eight playable characters. And yeah, in conclusion, I still think this is a really good Naruto game. Despite its limited roster and small story, it's still a really fun game to play for some reason. I don't know why, but I know darn well it's not just because of nostalgia. No, it's definitely not, it can't, it's definitely not just because, it's at least not just because of nostalgia. No, I still think the game is fun to play. I mean, I wouldn't recommend buying it. I wouldn't recommend buying it. I, it's, I'd probably say it's better for a rent than a buy. But, like, uh, but, yeah, this is still a really good game, though. I still really enjoy playing it, and, you know, I, I've still really enjoyed playing it. Growing up, it's fun, it's addicting. Yeah, it's fun, it's, it's really fun and addicting for some reason. I don't know why, even though it has a limited story mode, like, it has a limited roster and small story mode. I don't know why. It's like, I don't know why. For some reason, I think this is a great game. You know what? Say what you want about this, but I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. Yep, an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I know a lot of people wouldn't give this game an 8 out of 10. Look at how limited it is. They would give it, like, maybe, like, um, or, wait, actually, maybe some people would give it an 8 out of 10, looking at the school grade thing, but, you know, like I said earlier on my channel, my grading scale works different from the school grading scale. And, yeah, while 8 out of 10 means good by the school grading scale thing, for my scale, 8 out of 10 means great. And again, if any of you guys want to know how my review grading scale works, a link will be down in the description below that explains the whole thing. And yeah, guys, overall, the game, despite like limited content, I still think it's a really enjoyable game. And yeah, I, I'm giving it the 8 out of 10 rating. Say what you want, but it's getting the 8 out of 10 rating for me. Great game for the GameCube. And yeah, that's about it. And that's about it for the video, guys. That's all. Bye, everyone, and thank you all for watching this review video.